Hi everybody, welcome back to another video with Royals of Civil. This is the structure analysis playlist. Today in this video, I'm going to show you a way to check your shear, uh, shear force and bending moment diagram for your homework. So you can make sure you did it correct. Also, for some time that you don't have enough time, you can use what I'm showing you to generate a shear force and bending moment diagram okay so many people uh, have told me in the past that uh, what happens to them is that uh, they draw a shear force diagram but they don't know whether the, it's correct or no so the thing that i found is a great website sky uh, it's a cloud engineering software that generates shear force and bending moment diagram for you and it is very easy to use they have a free tool which is the beam calculator and they have a, a premium uh, that is also way better i will tell you what is the difference between the one with subscription and the one uh, that is free the one that is free you only can do determinant for a load and determinant structures for example uh, this is good for uh, mechanic of material homework and for static homework but for structure analysis since we are doing uh, indeterminant structure you need to add uh, indeterminate structure or if you want to add a hinge uh, you can't use the free beam tool because they don't have the option in here but they have the option in the subscription version but what i recommend you do if you don't want to pay because i'm not advertising this i'm only telling you how to use it if you don't want to pay for the subscription uh, do the cal some of the calculation by hand and separate it into the indeterminate bit into two determinant beam and then draw the shear force bending moment for each section and then connect it together on paper for your own purposes because you're only checking with this you're not using it to solve it you have to do it by yourself in order to learn if you just use something like this you're not going to learn anything and you're not going to get good grades uh, this is only for checking purposes okay uh, for the subscription one, they have a 14 day trial. I will show you. Uh, let me show you uh, how is uh, for the determinant beam, the free beam tool. So if we say add beam and we're using metric system, okay. Let's say the beam is 20 meter added. You need to add support. Let's say it's roller support at zero. And let's say it's pin support at uh, let's say 15 and let's say we have a distributed load and it's from 0 to 15 and let's say it's rectangular of 12 to newton per meter and let's say we have a point load at 20 and it's 10 kilometer you also can add a moment at a moment for example at 20 and 20 kilometer but i will remove it for now and you can't add the uh, hinges because you have to upgrade to the other version and same thing with the hinges you can separate it into two if you don't want to pay and basically you just click solve and there you go this is the shear force diagram this is the bending moment diagram on the premium version they give you a hand calculation which I, I don't find really useful and i believe you should do all of the calculation by the hand and only checking the numbers so when you draw yours you see whether you got 86.667 or whether it is the look or you got the number right but you draw the shape wrong that's only for checking there okay as you can tell this was the free tool one i will close this up okay this is when you pay it 
I will not tell it how much it is and whether you should get it or no because I'm not advertising this and I'm only doing for the purpose of teaching you how to check your work but right here I will show you how this one looks okay for this structure we want to do it indeterminately so let's say similar way we do a 20 meter but since we want it to be indeterminate then we have to add more supports so it's uh, we can't use equilibrium equation so we add a fixed support right here we add a fixed support at the end and we add a roller to increase the degree of indeterminacy we have the roller support at 10 and we add the distributed load from 0 to 10 and I'll say 8 to 0 this time I want to do rectangular and let's add a point load at 15 and the point load let's say 5 so basically right here you have to click solve and click on hand calculation open hand calculation you can see right here it found out that it this structure that I just created is statically indeterminate and generate the equation you just don't want you to use it you have to do it by hand I will teach you how to do it by hand in my next video. By now, I think you have already learned it, but we are going to review one more time for structural analysis because these calculations are a bit different since we are doing indeterminate structure. Okay, thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any question, please go ahead and comment below. I will answer. If you have any question about civil engineering question. Go ahead and comment below and I will respond. If you have ideas or classes that you want me to make videos, also you can comment those. And that's it for this video. Enjoy watching my other videos and learning. And thank you so much for watching this video.